joining us with us on this broadcast. Shivani, my colleague, uh, taking this forward. Thanks a lot for that and a very warm welcome, Mr. Sivan. Really appreciate your time with just about one and a half hours uh, to go before the landing sequence begins. And there's probably nobody who can describe it better than you as the former ISRO chairman under whom the Chandrayaan-2 mission was planned and executed. What these moments before the final sequence or those 15 minutes of terror are like. What do you think the team must be feeling right now? Uh, if everything is set right, now we are waiting for the moment, otherwise there is nothing to stay. And uh, once it is uh, the descent start, there are four phases and uh, it will cross and land quickly. That is the one I want to tell you. Hmm. But sir, these moments just before uh, the automated landing is executed, What's really going on in the head, for example, today, Mr. Somnath's head or the team's head? How did, what was those, those moments like for you last time around? No, this we are uh, anxiously waiting for this moment because it's a very complex maneuver. So everybody is uh, waiting with anxiety. And uh, this time, because we have done enough work, we hope that everything will go uh, as per plan. Yes. So, and what do you think makes this mission just that much more capable of success than the last time around? No, what are the lessons we learned from the last uh, mission? We have corrected this, uh, the, the, uh, the discrepancies we have been corrected. Hmm. So that way we have the more confidence now. But sir, could you describe for the benefit of our viewers, what was that one thing which you analyzed to be that one critical thing that went wrong last time around, which has been corrected for this mission? See, there is uh, the three things happened. Only the propulsion system uh, that defined pop bound and the guidance uh, system malfunction hmm. and the control was, uh, controllability of the spacecraft was limited. All these things combined together created the problem. If anyone was not there, it should have been success the last time itself. Hmm. But this time around, you feel all bases have been covered and most of the experts that we've been speaking to also feel that this is a mission that is definitely going to be a success. Your thoughts on that? Yes, yes. Definitely it is going to be successful. Uh, sir, what are the kind of reactions you've been receiving as part of the former ISRO community and part of the space community from India? Because after the Luna 25 crash from the Russians, you know, a lot of the eyes are on ISRO and on the Indian community. Is that adding to the pressure you feel or do you feel the entire world is wishing India well? The, the Luna 25 failure and the Jandrayaan 3 mission, they are not connected. They are independent. Sure. And they had their own system, we had our own system. So, that failure did not be linked to Chandrayaan 3. Hmm. That way I am telling that we can, we, we are sure that we will be successful this time. What do you make of the kind of anticipation that the world has from Indian scientists like yourself who worked on these missions in the past and the current team? Because, you know, if this mission is successful, it catapults India into a rare club. Uh, which, uh, you know, in many ways it's already a part of, but it, you know, really enhances India's position amongst the global community. Yes, yes, you are right. With, uh, once the mission is success, that uh, definitely will be in a uh, position of that uh, we will be joining the three other countries who had the capability. Hmm. That way this mission is very important and it's going to uh, put us in that uh, direct club. Hmm. What do you think that will do for the Indian space community and sector, the success of this mission? No, this uh, particular mission success, that, that it, they were doing the science uh, in that uh, near uh, uh, southern uh, polar region. Mm -hmm. So that is going to give new insight into that moon and uh, new science will be discovered. Absolutely. Important for the scientific community. Uh, sir, any words you've had with the current team, some of the scientists who are part of this mission as well, Mr. Somnath, the chairman, current chairman of ISRO, any words you've shared with them? Uh, how do you, you know, how have you expressed your confidence, if at all, to them? No, that we use to review whenever required. Mm. So that we have given the confidence to them. 
And what do you make of the kind of interest the entire country is showing in a mission like this? That was the case last time around as well. We had a little bit of a heartbreak at the final moment. But this time around too, we are witnessing the entire country coming together. And it just goes on to show the kind of interest science can uh, encourage, especially amongst the younger generation. Regardless of the mission and its success, this, will want to go, this is going to have a galvanizing effect on many generations to come. Yes, yes, definitely. You are right. Any final words as far as the team is concerned or to fellow countrymen today, Mr. Sivan? No, we will wait. Uh, we will wait for the moment to occur. Then we will see. All right. Not taken. Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sivan. Just about one and a half hours to go for that landing sequence. So really appreciate your time and we look forward to speaking to you once we have hopefully a successful outcome from this landing maneuver as well. Time for a very short break. News and updates and our full coverage on Chandrayaan 3 mission continues.